Well, listen, we're going to get ready to get going. Uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to our 630 training with myself, um, our midwife, and, and as always, none other than Mr. Diamond Mooney. And we always like to salute him and those that consistently um, lead from the front. Uh, I was singing, and for those of you that heard me try to sing, I was trying to sing, how is everyone doing? We are good. We are good. I I'm good. I'm empowered. I trust everybody on the line as well, and that you've had a, suit, a, a wonderful day, a productive day. And so I'm going to get right into um, some discussion. As you, as you guys know, I kind of pick up where I left off from our um, 8 o'clock Wednesday morning calls, because I understand that sometimes we're talking to separate people. And for those of you that, that, that is, as Dr. Diamond Mooney said, hungry, hungry. Those of you that are hungry, um, this may be, you may have heard this from this morning. But here is what I, I've, I've come to realize in any business. What I've come to realize in any business is that every business has a moment and has an opportunity because, because when it has this moment, I believe this moment pre presents an opportunity um, to where if they have to do an evaluation of where they are and then make necessary adjustments in order to get to where they're going. Whatever it is that they have done, whatever it is from you, those of you that are, uh, those of you that are building your business, whatever it is that you have done to this point uh, may have been absolutely great. And it's been good enough to get you to where you are. So let me say that. Whatever you have done to this point has been good enough to get you to where you are. The question becomes, is it good enough to get you to where you desire to be? And that's the level of evaluation that is needed and that's the level of evaluation that is necessary if you're going to ever progress to get to that place where you desire to be. I, I hope that makes sense. So wherever you are, suggest that whatever you've done to get to where you are was good enough to get you where you are. But the question becomes, is what you've done thus far is what you are currently doing good enough to get you to where you desire to be? And, and, and one of the ways that you can answer this question honestly with yourself is that has it got, are you where you desire to be now? Because if you are not where you desire to be now, then that means that what you've done was not necessary. It may have been good, but it wasn't good enough. And so what we want to do is evaluate what we've been doing to begin to strategize of what's necessary in order to get us to where we desire to be. For example, for example, many of us, I've, I've heard sometime, I've heard different people say different things about the different product lines that came and products that we brought to the table and may have taken off the table and we no longer have anymore. Um, different companies that we've utilized that may not have given us the type of product that we wanted um, that, that we believe it represents our brand at the highest and best level. And so as a company, um, we, have, we have been consistently making adjustments, making modifications, trying this, that didn't work getting rid of that, coming back with this. All of these things is because what we understand is that if we're going to get to where we desire to be, we have to continuously and consistently put ourselves in a position where we are always evolving. And so in order to do that, in order to evolve, means we have to begin to uh, we have to be creative. We have to employ new strategies. We have to employ new ideas. And that's what I want to impress upon you tonight. I want to impress upon you tonight to begin to understand that in the business we're in, we're in the business, we're in the people business. And you guys know that. 
We're in the people business. And the momentum of our business is based on the people that we're building with. The growth of our business is based on the people that we're building with. And here's the deal. The best opportunity to experience explosive growth is when you are able to de develop team members that are excited and energized when, within that first, uh, I would just say the first 90 days of them getting into the business. If you're able to do that, it will always give your business a momentum uh, shift. And it will always give your business an opportunity, a forward pushing opportunity. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you what Mr. Diamond Mooney said to you. I'm saying to you what our CSO, Phyllis Nash said to you. I'm saying to you what, what, what Melissa, our CEO, Melissa Boston has said to you. And that is we must always be looking for new people to get in the business. Here's a the reality. There were some things that was happening. Um, we, we're in the middle of March Madness. Well, we're, toward, we're at the end now. We're not in the middle. We're at the end of March Madness. We're tallying up the final, the final doohickey for March Madness. And one of the things that Phyllis stated to all of the teams, and one of the things I realized and caught early on is that I knew that March Madness was going to yield some upsets. I knew that March Madness was going to yield some upsets because when I was looking at the dynamics of the team, what I saw on certain teams is that they had more jades and more pearls than potentially anything else. Well, you know, a jade and a pearl, you're just getting started with Wakanda. But when you're just getting started, it gives there's a certain level of energy. There's a certain level of excitement and enthusiasm that new people bring to the team. And sure enough, we begin to see the type of upsets because of, of new people coming in and they're coming in with that shared enthusiasm. So what are you saying, coach? I'm saying that right now, what your focus should be on as we get, as we go into our third year uh, of, of what kind of life celebration, what your focus should be on is making certain you get as many new people to this conference in the room that you possibly can. I put a challenge out there. I want you to invite 20 new people. Well, how are you defining new people, coach? I'm glad you asked. I'm defining new people as individuals that you have never talked to about Wakanda before. And if we're all honest with ourselves, there's a group of people and possibly groups of people that we have never talked to Wakanda about. Either A, because the truth is, we never thought that they would be a good fit. We never, B, we never thought that they would actually do it. So we didn't want to waste our time. So we want to invite these new people. Invite them to the conference. And, 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 and Coach Dan, why are you saying invite them to the conference? The same thing that we've said before. Because when you get them in a the room, now you can rely on the energy of the room, the weight of the room, the, 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 the support of corporate to be able to bring them to a close for you. Most businesses in this market, in this space, MLM, social selling, most businesses excel or begin to really feel a momentum shift directly after a national conference. And that's where we are. And so your first call to action is I want to see us all go ahead and push the envelope to get new people into the room. Well, how am I going to get new people in the room? That means you got to do some things different. I've said to you a long time ago, it's not who you know, but it's who you get to know. So if you're going to get 
people in the room, that means you got to get to know some more people, right? So how do you get to know more people? Let's examine your, your existing networks. What are you calling a network, coach? I'm calling those that go to your job. That's part of your network. Those that your coworkers are part of your network. Those of you that uh, allowed yourself to, uh, that's active, you, you, your children, like my, my, my son is active in basketball. So that group of people is another network. Those of you that go to church, the, the church members are part of a new network. All of these people are part of a network. And so when you think about the network, these are your networks. And so your next door neighbor is part of your network. They're part of your network. Now, some of them are hot, meaning, or warm markets, meaning these are people that you're already familiar with. They just may not be familiar with what you do. And then some of these people you may not be familiar with at all, and they may not be familiar with you, but your common denominator is the network that you're in with them. For example, your, 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 your children's teachers, it's part of your, that's another network. What, what is Coach doing right now? I'm giving you prototypes. I'm giving you um, places where you can identify new people that you can invite. So that's the first strategy that I want to employ on you tonight. Any questions about that? Is, that, is this, y'all know I like to ask, is this making sense to anybody? Somebody said, I want to, I'm not where I want to be. I want to have $2,000 plus a month with as much help as I can get Minister Mooney. Now that's a decree. All right. Well, you could definitely get Mr. Don Mooney to help you get there. But listen, is this, is, is everyone understanding the depth of what I'm saying? You're under, you're understanding, hey, I need to expand my network. I need to tap into some other pools. Because some of us, we get stuck and we look at things from the perspective of what we're used to, what we are accustomed to. We don't think outside the box. We, we don't even consider the, the person that we see every week when we go to the dry cleaners. We don't even think of them as an opportunity. Every person that you have never talked to about this business that you come in contact with in some shape, form, or fashion is an opportunity. Now, so that's the first thing. So somebody put in the chat, how many people we want to invite? How many new people, new people, never heard about Wakana from us before? How many people put in the chat that we want to invite and get them into the conference, get them to the conference, get them in the room? Somebody put it in the chat for us, help us out. I gave you a number. Thank you, Anna. You're exactly right, 20. No, Erica, 20. We want 20. Invite 20 new people that you never told to about the business in the room. That's what we want in the room. Now. The next thing kind of speaks to the next thing kind of speaks to that I, I want to discuss over the next uh, less than 12 minutes is I want to speak to us leveraging and utilizing uh, the flat belly lifestyle challenge as an opportunity to not only make money for yourself but to also help some people and expand your personal brand. We want to get people to get attracted to what you're doing and who you are. So how do we do that? We want to all become health and wellness experts. Some of you are going through the process to be a coach. Some of you said, hey, I'm on a program, but I'm not a coach. Okay, that's cool. But I need you to find your thing that you can and be creative to leverage this flat, this flat belly lifestyle. How do you leverage it? So you may say, hey, uh, 
let's say you 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 position yourself as someone that's needing help, and you go to your network and you say, hey, you know what? I need to lose 15, 20 pounds, but I need some help. And so I'm going to create the 1,000 pound challenge. And maybe we could call it the 1K journey. What is this journey? You get a bunch of people in your network to commit to seeking to lose 1,000 pounds together. And you show them from your own testimonials as to what you've lost so far. Because when you show them what you've lost so far, when you put something out there and say, hey, listen, I've lost 25 pounds so far and I got 25 pounds to go. It's getting tough and I can use your help. I need a group of people that's willing to put in the work with me and we can all lose it together. Let's see if we can lose a thousand pounds together. Because that's what you're not the only one that got a goal. You're not the only one that's going to uh, miss out. I mean, that's looking to lose weight. And you're not the only one that's by yourself that needs some help. So you create that for yourself. Maybe, maybe it's about getting off of high blood pressure pills. Whatever it is, you create this opportunity for you to engage people that have the same mindset that you have or you to identify people that have the same mindset that you have so that you will be able to push them towards the flat belly lifestyle. That's the goal. And guess what? Of course, you know there's going to be a lot of things that's happening at the conference, and we're going to be talking about it, this, that, the other. And so what I would say to you today is utilize that as an opportunity to get, to, to get some of them to your 20. Say, hey, there's this an amazing conference. It's coming up this weekend. This is what the expectation should be. Not this weekend. Y'all know what I'm saying. This is what the expectation should be or what have you, and I'm joined, I'm coming to the conference, come and go with me. You got to utilize your valuable, you, there's a valuable asset that all of you guys have. And that valuable asset that all of you guys have, all of us on this phone have, is our testimony. It's our testimony. All of us have a testimony. And so, when you, when you begin to brand and begin to expand your brand, you're doing it through your testimony because everybody wants, everybody wants to be healthy. Now, you may say everybody don't, but the truth is if you ask most people that do you want to be healthy, they're going to tell you they do. They're going to tell you they want to be healthy. Now, are they willing to put in the work to be healthy is another story. If they do, they have the discipline to be healthy is another story but all of them wants to be healthy. And so with that being said, my executive summary, and then I'm gonna pass it on to Mr. Diamond Mooney and he may, I wanna hear what he has to say about what we discussed today, um, inviting people to the conference. Good job, Erica. I wanna hear what he has to say, or I want him to share what he has to sh share about what we discussed. But the goal is this, we gotta look at new strategies and new methodologies. Whatever we were doing, it was good enough to get us to where we are. The question is, is it good enough to get us to where we desire to be? And if the answer is no, we got to be willing to evolve. We got to be willing to do certain things differently. And as long as you're willing to evolve and do certain things differently, you'll begin to create new energy as you develop new, new business partners to begin to cause that shift to happen. What you want to do is get invite, bring, invite, invite, invite. No, no less than 20 people to come to the conference. Use that as an opportunity and use that for us to support you and your business. Then the next thing is I want you to become very creative and looking at how you can leverage your testimony with helping other people as it pertains to the, for those of you that's on this lifestyle challenge. And then when you, you, when you leverage it, as, as you leverage it, it's gonna cause your business to grow even more and be successful. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you, you guys. I trust and pray that this was helpful. 